made your way through protocol one, working very diligently on getting to the right takeaway position, laying the back of the trail wrist into the wrist cradle, getting comfortable, you're ready to move on to the top of the backswing. You'll notice that we have not introduced the compression sphere yet. We want you to be fully comfortable with the wrist cradle before we move on to that. Sean, let's talk about where do we go from takeaway to the top. Okay, so I think what's what's really important and what I love about the Pro Sender and, and, and how it's very effective is that golf is a game that we play with our hands and arms. So when they talk about Tiger Woods, they talk about what great hands he has. When they talk about Lydia Ko, they talk about what great hands she has. Unfortunately, golf instruction gets too much related to the body and how we generate power and do all of that. But all great players are very effective with what they do to the golf club, the forces and torques they put in. So when you set up there, Joe, what the hands and arms are gonna do is they're gonna incentivize. How far can you go back, Joe, without using uh, any of your body? Okay, now put this into the cradle. All right, now from there, what are you gonna to have to do to power up the rest of your backswing? How are you gonna get time? What are you gonna to have to use? So see, this is the great thing, is that when you practice with this, you'll probably be able to only get to three quarters. The golf swing will get longer when you're hitting balls because we're obviously adding momentum. But as you can see, Joe's had to turn and tilt here at a one-to-one -one ratio to get that in place. But the beautiful part about this part here is that he's already almost preset impact. And that's what we wanna do at the top of the backswing is all the discussion about the moment of truth being at impact. Well, from here to impact, he's got two one hundredths of a second. So for example, if these wrist angles are opposite, there's no way in that time frame that he's gonna be able to get that club face square without using a lot of manipulations from the arms and the body. So by being in this position, go back down to the start. Okay, so get that right wrist in the cradle, nice and wide through that start. What do you have to do with the body to help you create the rest of the backswing. Okay, so this is where we're gonna see some vertical force, this is where we're gonna see torque, and this is where we're gonna see some lateral shift. So remember, things like weight shift are completely natural. Human beings are walkers. We're known to weight shift from left to right, left to right. By making the hands and arms become the incentive, we can teach the body what it needs to do. And within knowing that everyone moves slightly unique, we might have to make certain adjustments to each, which will be followed up in Pro Sender Nation. And the unique design of the Pro Sender allows, Joe, go ahead and stay up at the top. It has a trigger finger cover, if you will, that limits your ability to over hinge. So many people that don't rotate properly, they get to here and they kind of cheat it. They overextend their wrist, dump it, it wrecks your timing. Now you're not in sync with the rest of your body rotation. But when you're limited in your radial extension of the wrist, that forces you to elevate the arms and pivot the body to get to a proper wide and high backswing. Now you're in a much more powerful position to deliver the club. As Sean said, you were already pretty much in an impact condition up here preset by leaving it in the cradle. So you're gonna work on this in protocol two. You're gonna get to the end of the takeaway and you're gonna just do some pivots and arm lifts where the wrist is already laid in the cradle. Do that 15 times before you move on to protocol three.